There are a few places in the world where you can see such extremes as in this country. Extremely wonderful people, extremely beautiful nature, and extremely diverse fauna. I'm here on a trip of a lifetime to learn more about conservation and the relationship between man and wildlife. We'll meet both the cute and cuddly and the feared creatures demanding respect. For the next few episodes, we'll be in search of animal experiences traveling through this spectacular country. Welcome. This is the Finn and Fauna in India. I'm a very happy camper right now. Um, we arrived this morning, about six hours ago, maybe eight hours ago. Uh, got some sleep and now we are walking the streets of Mumbai, the former Bombay, which is the heart and soul of the Indian movie industry and home to Bollywood. It's taken me 24 years, but I'm finally able to say that I've laid my feet on the subcontinent of India, which is a paradise for wildlife and animal enthusiasts like myself. We need to make our way up north. Fortunately, the British Empire blessed India with one of the most extensive railroad systems in the world. We are in Chittakur and somewhere, well actually all over, these forts and these palaces are scattered. Uh, it's a very special monkey species that is always bullying, teasing the tourists, stealing stuff. This species is really, really common in India and if you've ever, ever been traveling here, I'm sure you've seen them. Common here, but very exotic to me, so I want to take a closer look. Let's see if we can find any. I'm sure we can. And Jess already got <laughs> welcomed by the monkeys by getting some poop on her backpack. <laughs> Look at that. Not too much. This is what we were searching for, the Grey Langur. The largest monkey in Asia is a common sight near human settlements and forests. Their other name, the Hanuman Langur, derives from their resemblance to the monkey-tailed Hindu god, Hanuman. For me to say that this species is really common is actually wrong. There are seven different species, all of which used to be considered subspecies of the Grey Langur. The ones you see here are the Southern Plains Grey Langurs. This species is large in numbers, but for example, the Kashmir Grey Langur is endangered with only a few hundred individuals left.
The extremely long tail is definitely a characteristic feature of the langur. Langurs are masters of climbing and jumping. As they do both at the same time, all the time, they use that tail for balancing. And maybe when stealing a motorbike? Well, at least food from tourists. And yep, right as we got into the temple, here are some Timon with the baby. Langur females usually give birth to a single baby. The energetic and mischievous baby monkey then stays with her mom until up to a year has passed. This male has likely lost his arm by jumping into a power line. Even though the monkeys stay near humans for sources of food and shelter, there are complications, as always. People are spreading and taking more and more space from wildlife. Though the langurs are tough, they wouldn't mind the human world developing sustainably. And the Western world really sets an example here. So let's choose to develop in harmony with the nature. For the sake of every one of us. Next time we will be on the East Coast, learning about Indian crocodilians and their conservation. We'll meet up with Ram Whitaker, an Indian-American conservation legend, who has even won an Emmy for one of his wildlife documentaries. Well, thank you very much for watching. Um, I really hope you like our show as much as I like my egg curry that I'm about to have, because Indian food is freaking delicious. Uh, make sure you subscribe and leave a comment. Make sure you come back. This was Finn and Fauna.